left New Bethesda early this morning and we had a long drive ahead of us about 775 kilometers to go uh, we are heading to Port Edward first visit to KwaZulu Natal really looking forward to doing that one really excited about it so um, we'll be sleeping in Port Edward this evening Welcome to the Wild Coast. <laughs> that works for me. Brilliant. That is super exciting. I haven't been to the Wild Coast in two decades. That's crazy. It's been a long time since I've been down here. 19 years to be exact. Port Edward. Our first signs indicating that we are heading in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long road. Whew. Yeah, I'm finished. Yeah. Can't wait to get there now. Yeah, myself. Yay. Hey, Wild Coast Sun. Goodness gracious, it's been a long time. Been many moons, eh? Yeah. Yes. Can't believe it took us this long to get here. here. I've forgotten all about this boat. Look at this bridge. Is this our cross? Yes. Are we crossing over into KwaZulu Natal? <gasps> Fantastic! <laughs> Can you believe it? Welcome to Rain Konyeni Municipality. Yeah. And here is the subtropical vegetation. Immediately. Crazy. Oh, it's <laughs> fantastic. We made it. <laughs> I'm pushed, but it's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Port Edward. 20 to 6 in the evening. We Yo. have arrived. Crazy, here we are. Who says we don't live on a gravel road? <laughs> yeah, I would say 350 meters. I didn't even know that it's on a gravel road. I mean, how perfect is that? Yes. Looks like it's on our left. Yes. Is this summer place? Summer place, yes, here it is. We're coming to summer place in winter. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me call. Summer place. There we go. Shall we wait for the gate? There we go, the gate's closing. Good. So we stay left, you see? Yes. How beautiful is this? Hey. The swimming pool. This is really nice, eh? Oh, it's steep down here, huh? Hey? Yeah. Oh, look at these. Are they palms? Wow. Gorgeous. This is our room for the night. Come into the kitchen. Oh. 
bathroom. This is our kind of road. Yep. Okay, we're out hunting again. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can find some food. Well, we haven't eaten since 11 or something. I'm yeah. starving. Same here. I can't wait to see this area tomorrow. Ah, oh, it's going to be so nice. So yeah. I decided <laughs> that we're coming to the Wild Coast Sun. Let's see what we can find. I think they're going to have some nice things to eat here. I'm sure they have a few restaurants. Oh, I miss my parents. We oh, often used to come no. here. They visit us? Yes. Well, <laughs> I'd N say. Night visitors. <laughs> Let's see if we find that parking spot. I'm having a castle light and Sonia's having a strawberry daiquiri. We are at Panerotti's at the Wild Coast Sun. We wanted to go down to the um, buffet but uh, it's so far and Sonia unfortunately won't make it with her knee. So we decided Panerotti's is the place. Yes. And I want a toast to being back in KwaZulu Natal. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. That's great. So yes, the Meat Supreme sub and wingettes, barbecue wingettes. I uh, somehow feel this is not going to be enough, but we'll see. Oh, we might have some dessert later. Let's check it out. So I thought that food wasn't going to be enough and uh, it was, so we didn't need to get dessert. And then on our way back home, we got some snacks to eat here at our um, guest house. And we're just going to chill now, relax. Uh, after the past two days, we've done over a thousand six hundred kilometers. So we are pretty tired. But we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Yeah, we are in Port Edward. Yeah, I've got the jacket on, but it's not that cold. But as soon as I take the jacket off, it's just a little bit too cold to walk without it. But now it's a bit too hot to walk with it. So <laughs> what does one do? I'm just going to take a nice little quick walk through this garden where we stayed last night and just show you what it looks like. Yeah, it is Stunning, it's like living in nature. This is beautiful. Massive plot, eh? Jeepers.
I'm excited for the start of this day. You're not uh, the only one. I had quite a good few hours of sleep and now I'm refreshed. Oh, oh. I, can't, I can't drive this morning. I must say you were you weren't yourself yesterday. I think you were beyond tired, eh? Yeah, totally bushed, eh? Yeah, because you had two bad nights. But here we go. A little bit of a late start at five past nine. <laughs> well, we'll deal with it. KwaZulu Natal. I'm excited. Exactly how um, I remember it. Just so bushy and like just beautiful and lush. Yeah. And green. So we wait for the gate. Now, um, what I like is that we haven't taken this road and she talks about going this direction all the time so I want to take this road now. Um, our, our host, host explained yes. that the, is the beach down here? The beach? No. Oh, okay. But there's something else I want to go and check out first. Alright. The Red Desert. Yeah, I understood the directions differently but let's see. But this is now, she's talking about the robot, we're just going to get to the traffic light first. Yeah, the hardy dogs. I do, I heard them earlier this morning already. I think you know where you headed. I think so. I've never heard of it here in Port Edward before.
I can hear, in the distance, I can hear the ocean. Look at this red, yeah. Wow. This is incredible. Look at this. Now what we found very interesting online is that this is the smallest desert in the world. It's about 200 meters wide. And there's no explanation. No one can say how this is happening and why it's happened. That is crazy. Now this is really fascinating. Now this was very really interesting. How cool is that? With a cause unknown, it's it's like red Kalahari sand. It's like Kalahari sand, that's it. Definitely, it's like the weirdest thing, the smallest, I was in the smallest desert in the world. You were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool though, yeah, hey? Brilliant. Who thought we'd find something like that here? <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, wonderful, love that. Look at this plant. Yeah. The vegetation here is next level. Really? That gentleman that helped me with the directions to the Red Desert mentioned something about a pond down here. He did. So I just want to go down here and see if I can find it. It's too intriguing not to. <laughs> yes. We would probably be moving down to the river side now, eh? That's for sure. Look at these orchards. Beautiful. They're completely different from the places we've seen the last year and a half or so, yeah. hey? Yeah. I was a Natal girl from a little already, eh? So this is going to have a lot of emotions waking up inside of you. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no doubt. Never knew Port Edward well at all. Oh, okay. So, it's good to explore a little. I, I will know it a little better. That beautiful piece of road there. Those trees over it. Mm. Gives me a vibe of like a foresty feel. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, it's so dense. Yeah. You're hundred percent correct. Look here. Oh. Even reminiscent of some of our roads in Constantia. Yes. And also on our way to Hogs Beck. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Twisty turny road. Yep, getting down to the river.
What? Stop, reverse. What, 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 what? There was definitely something here. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to go through that portal twice. Oh, no, well, you will. Was this some kind of tourist attraction or. Oh, boy, boundary what is wall? this? I have no idea. I think I see buildings far back there, but this has been many years. Looks like some fun fair type of effect. I got no clue. This is incredible. Look here how the the big thick branches have grown over and around it. Yeah, it's, for many years this hasn't been what it was. Oh, okay. Cool. It goes on for a little bit still. Pointy mushroomy tops. Interesting, hey? Very. Umtamvuna River Lodge. So we saw it was the Umtamvuna River. Yes. And it's the Umtamvuna Bridge, too. Okay. a fever tree? I think so. Goblins rest. Yeah, it looks like goblins can rest yeah, here. It definitely does, eh? holiday resort but their website is old pond so I wonder if there used to be a pond. Yeah there must have been a pond here before. Oh please do not feed or tease the monkeys. Exactly. Cute. Let's see if they'll allow us to take a drive through. Yes that'll be nice. So friendly eh? Yes incredible so welcoming. Yeah. This is really nice. A water truck. Oh, so the gentleman confirms there was a pond. Yo. But now one can only see the cement slab, I believe. Yeah. So the boat launches this way yes. to the left and you're going to retrieve your boat from that side. Okay. Ooh. Not that oh, I know much this about is boating. So cool. This is a big, big tree house. Massive, eh? Look at the little chalets, babe. We'll come take a drive through there now. Oh, I love it. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Old pond. Yeah, that's where the pond used to be. I wonder how it crossed to the other side. Okay. You think that it was there? It looks like it. I'm not sure. when we come back because yes uh, yes in the sun. look at these beautiful places log homes the humble nest I always think you have um, eyes at the back of your head that you can see my way too <laughs> how cool is this canoe that they've turned into a planter yeah love it I'm going to 
spin around. Quite a big river. It is, eh? Look at those mountains. I warn you against the monkeys, but I haven't seen one yet. See how cool those places are? Sure. Imagine this over holidays. That <laughs> must be best. December? Yep. It's the ablutions. This one's got its own stoop with a bry on everything. Crazy. It closed for little pets, I'm sure. No, they say no pets. Alone. Oh, did they say oh. no pets? Babies. Treehouse. That is fantastic. Literally a tree house, eh? Yeah. The tree grows right through it. I love that. I want one. <laughs> you don't need a big stand for it either. Yeah. You just need a tree trunk. Just need a tree, that's it, eh? They must be ready for the biggest bonfire ever. Right? <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look prepared. So you think this is the where the old pond was? I don't know. I, I, I suspect that this is more of a boat launch than the, the, where the pond was. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful here. It is really nice and you get that calm feeling. Mm. Eh? water does that if it's not coming for you yep <laughs> can we go down there I'm gonna go down there now maybe we see something else I love it. Look, okay, even what you can rent yourself a little pedal ski or whatever that is. Kayak. I like that too. <laughs> oh, this is where you retrieve boats out there. Okay. This is the day visitor area. Yeah. Okay. Come for brides. This is super cool. I wonder if any folks live here permanently. I don't know. I wouldn't mind. No, that would be great. Egyptian geese. Yeah. This is number one called Numero Uno. Okay. Resort. This is brilliant. How's the catfish? Squid? Oh, it's here! Yeah. Oh, I love them, eh? Yeah. Hey? Well, that was pretty cool, eh? Yeah! Bye, bye, thank you! Very nice. Love that. Yeah. Just tell me if you see a spot to park because I'd like to take a walk onto this bridge. Yeah, I will. I know that uh, bridges are our thing. Yep. There might be a spot here. Yeah. Right before it. Yes, that's what I'm going to do right now. So our host calls it the Mtamvuna Bridge yeah. because it's the Mtamvuna River, like we'll see the sign now. I see online it says it's also known as the CH 
Mitchell Bridge. Okay. Wow, look at this. Now what's interesting about this bridge is it's the second longest single span bridge in South Africa. That is wow. Get this. Oh. I'm going to put my engineering hat on for a few seconds. Oh, wow. Uh. The bridge's deck is suspended by a pair of cable hangers systems which are supported by a cross braced double steel arch yes it was opened in 1966 and is 210 meters long yeah i didn't know it was that old that's crazy eh? yeah that was impressive very, very much so. You must feel as I'm walking on the bridge how it shakes while the cars drive over it. The cars drive quite wild over it. <laughs> um, shall I say? <laughs> that they do. Okay, so we have to come and see these trees. I just wanted to come and see what it looks like in daylight. It is so gorgeous. The trees in this approach road is what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, last night I saw a whole lot of golfers coming. It looks like there's some tournament going okay. on today. Okay. How cool this looks. All right, now this is what I wanted to see. Look at this. What? Now this is beautiful. But this place has been around for years, eh? Oh yeah, definitely. I remember coming here. Oh, I can't even remember the first time. 80s it might have been. Hello, hello, hello. Finding you. Now this is the entrance to the hotel down here. But look at this. It is beautiful. And this is that bridge that we walked over from the parking when we come to eat at Panerotti's last night. Okay, that's 
to the casino. They don't want me to record inside the lobby of the hotel. I get it for the privacy of the um, guests. I just want to go to this parking area because obviously this place has changed a lot over the last 20 years. Yep. I remember parking at a place like this, but this looks too small. I don't know, 
uh, things change over 20 years. Yeah, it's, it's an eternity. Yeah. Okay, and then I thought, but we did park further away, so maybe there was more parking up there. Yeah, Not sure. Yeah. But then to me, this looks like the original entrance. To the hotel. And the casino and the, and casino, the restaurants, yeah, yes. Yeah. Wow. But you know what? I'm just speculating because this really looks to me like where we used to walk up. Oh, this and looks in. like a porta So I think, I think I'm right. Okay. But yeah, who knows. This is a beautiful place. But it's been here for so many years. Right. Because this used to be the old Trans Sky and they that was South Africa back then didn't allow casinos. And no they, gambling, yeah. No. From the bridge. The bridge yeah. is the border. The bridge is the border. Or the river, river is yeah. the border. Yeah. Super, super beautiful, yeah. No, this is gorgeous. Is where? I'll go with you, yeah, madam. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go into the town. We haven't been into Port Edwards town yet. The CBD. That's correct. Hey, I want that little Suzuki. <laughs> Edward Country Club. Okay. That's what this is. Golf course. And these massive trees are all over the show here. These forests. And you know, and it's like a coastal town. Yeah. But there's almost like no sign, just a glimpse here and there. Of the sea? Yes. yes. Because of their dense and thick vegetation. Schools, plural. Okay. Ah. Edward Library, they have a big and busy library. That's cool. Rain Canyon Municipality. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes. I think this is the town centre. Yeah, CBD. Post office. First go down here and have a look and then see if let me try the holiday resort first. Mm. 
So they don't allow us to go in and just drive through? That was a firm no. Firm, that, no hesitation. <laughs> yes. we <laughs> don't go down Beach Avenue? Yes, let's do that. Mm, crashing waves. This was an entrance of some kind. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Cool. Whoa, oh, we see is... some of it here. Oh, we do. Look at this. Little duet chalets. The shimmering ocean, eh? Oh. Different style here. Definitely. Single family these. They look big, eh? They do look big, eh? Like proper little houses. There's a cross. Yes, this monument. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I first want to take a drive and when we come back I'll stop there. Yeah. So this must be the place that our host described. Yes, this is it. I thought there was another beach. Well, I'm going to park here because I need to go and take a walk on Port Edwards Beach. Morning, morning. Morning, man. How are you? I'm getting you. Good, That's good. Port Edward Beach. I'm just going to feel the temperature of this water. It's crazy how warm it is. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not used to warm water like this. Water warm. Crazy how warm warm it is I'm telling you I could <laughs> swim in that water right now we're it's not used to that at all totally the opposite of the strand <laughs> <laughs> isn't the Indian Ocean for nothing yeah it's nice and warm let me see what this is about I would suggest pausing this and reading this.
This is an interesting story. I was confused when we first stopped here. You myself? Because Sao Jao sounded very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> we heard about a Sao Jao shipwreck on the Sunshine Coast yes. at Cannon Rocks. Yes. But now I just looked up and that was actually the Sao Jao Baptista and that was 1622. And this one is the Sao Jao and it was 1552. 50, yeah. Super cool that it is known as the first cargo shipwreck on the South African coastline. That's interesting. I thought that was cool. That is very interesting. Well, not cool, interesting. The fact that there were 600 on board, and I think something like 400 made it ashore, and then their trek to Mozambique, because it was Portuguese and Mozambique was under Portuguese rule back then, only 21 survived the oh, trek. Of 400? Of 400, yeah. <laughs> a lighthouse. That's beautiful. With a little one on top. That's where the light is in. So cool. There's the, the vitals, North Sand Bluff Lighthouse, established 1968. Okay. Oh, they're busy with construction, yeah. Okay. Deep excavation, they say. Oh, it's I'm cool to see. I'm just going to take a drive down to there. Do you see their lights on either side of their entrance? Yes, like little so lighthouses. Cool, yes. right? Little lanterns. Oh, I love it. Oh, I was hoping you could get inside. Get inside, wow. yeah. Let me see if I can read about it. Okay, this is a dead end here. Yeah. They say it's a fully automatic lighthouse. It was commissioned in 1968, like, like we saw on the board. The original aluminium lattice tower was replaced in 1999 with a concrete tower. Oh, a lattice tower sounds pretty, yeah, eh? Yeah, it does. And the town of Port Edward is named in honour of the then Prince of Wales. Crazy. Okay happened upon that bit of information. <laughs> I so just caught my first glimpse of a banana plantation with blue bags. <laughs> Around the bananas. I remember that from my childhood when we were driving to Natal. Yes. So we've just left Port Edward and we're taking a slow drive on this road and we've just come through Leisure Bay. Yes. Lots of little places now along the way. Yes, we will. This is a busy road though. It's crazy. We're just entering Palm Beach. Right. I can see why it's called that. <laughs> for a long time this estate it'll be great to take a drive but I don't know if they'll let us yeah I don't think so the security is too tight yeah yes 
I agree. Look at their golf course. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Let's go find out. <laughs> so that was a, another Another death. firm no. <laughs> It's, it looks like we better get used to it. Yes. Uh, we'll just wait for the next yes. That's it. We'll keep on trying. We have no issue with that. But I would have loved to have seen it. I think it's beautiful. Well, you can already get a little idea, hey? Yeah. Stunning place. Beautiful gardens and grounds. Edward. Got to know Port Edward a little bit better. Loved it.